All right, you guys, quick rundown of the motor. I'm going to fucking hell. What's up YouTube? My name is Antoine Hill. I am an owner of a 2004 Mark 1. You guys may know me from Instagram as Veteran 2.0. Today I'm going to give you guys a walk around of my Mark 1 and get you guys familiar with it. Damn! Alright, starting with exterior mods. Um, I haven't done really too much on the exterior obviously that's what needs the main attention um i put wheels on i love these wheels i'm gonna keep these wheels i'm probably gonna get another set though i've added a 03 to 04 terminator bumper um and that's about it with the exterior you guys the exterior is in pretty good condition the front area we're gonna have to get it lined up uh that'll be another video I may do it myself. I may not. I've honestly tried, but body work is kind of not my thing. Maybe I should just develop a little bit more patience and I probably can get that done. All right, on to the interior of the car. You guys can see, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to need some paint, obviously. See the interior, no rips on the seats. It's in pretty good condition. I mean, that could be re, re-upholstered, but they're in pretty good condition. That seat is in perfect condition. Um, it needs an airbag. The airbag's deployed on it. This car was a red car when I bought it. It was um, hit in the front, but it was like very minor. Uh, the owner had already gotten it fixed, but he didn't want to um, put any more time into the car. So I took it off his hands. I must say, Terminator Cobras, they're one of my uh, dream cars, but these Mach 1s in the interiors, I think they had the Cobras beat. With this right here, fucking Honda pooping down the street. All right, it's gone. With just a little detail in the trim and a um, little silver accents, I say they got the Cobra beat as far as the interior goes. Now, the Cobra seats, the 10th, 10th anniversary Cobra and the Mystic Chrome anniversary Cobra. Now those seats, you can't beat those at all. Come and stop. You can't beat those at all. But I'm gonna say the trim back there behind the cluster, well in front of the cluster and the trim right there and the shift knob, uh, I say the Mark 1 has it beat. Also the car is a five speed manual. I'm pretty sure I'm running a Steta Triax shifter or Steta, however you guys pronounce it. I plan on going MGW in the future. I heard it's a great shifter. As far as the radio goes, I have a um, Pioneer touchscreen double den radio. This radio gives me no complaints. It has navigation, it's touchscreen, obviously, Bluetooth. Um, it's a pretty good radio. Um, no complaints about it at all. In the future, I will be adding gauges um hopefully we can boost this car that's the plan that's the goal it's for boost it has a nice view of this shaker up there man that view never gets old to me that's one of the main reasons why i bought this car is because of the shaker and how iconic the name is also another reason why i bought this car is because it has the 4.6 liter four valve engine of course same engine that's in the cobra but 
it doesn't have the supercharger on it. At that point, once this car get boosted with the supercharger, it'll be my dream car. It'll be a Cobra in my eye. Basically, you get the best of both worlds. You get this iconic car of the Mark One with a supercharger, then you basically will have your Cobra right there. So, hey, I'm okay with that. I like that shaker sitting right there more than that Terminator hood. So, once I finish up this interior, once I get my boost gauges in, once I actually have boost and get the airbag and a nice comfortable steering wheel, then we'll be good to go. As far as exhaust goes, I'm running BBK long tube headers, BBK off-road X-pipe, and uh, mufflers uh, that I currently don't know the name of. Um, I got on there and tried to see, but it had no name on them, but it's all right. They sound pretty good. I will be replacing them soon due to a rattle issue. Um, they're, they rattle pretty bad. Basically at idle, they just rattle. So I plan on taking those off. Um, as far as what I wanna go with, I'm aiming towards boiler. Those sound really good. So I'm about to give you guys an exhaust clip. They rattle pretty bad, but on the highway, they sound really good, honestly, but they're gonna have to go soon. six four valve that i was telling you guys about the motor has 120k thousand miles on it i've just hit 120k thousand miles i bought this car with 117,000 miles on it so i had it for what over a year so i put maybe like 3,000 miles on. i've got um a colder intake um aftermarket throttle body by bbk and it also has a uh, you guys can see down there instead of on a drive pulleys and that's really about it. I mean, it has a, a EGR delete. Let you guys see the wheels I got on here. I have 18 by 10 all the way around, drilled and slotted rotors. All right, you guys, coming up in the clips next, I will show you guys the progression that I've done with the mock. Um, it may not look like much, but it's something. Um, you guys will understand in the pictures coming up. So take a look.
up on yesterday's video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, ask me questions. I'm open to answer your questions. Um, this is only the beginning, you guys. And just thanks.